succulent fans, welcome to the way to succulents. I'm Wei. As always, I would love to share my way of being succulents with you. Today, I would love to introduce you a very unique succulent. Let's have a look. That's her. Let's get closer. Look at the new color. It's a type of euphobia. And the Latin name I will type on the screen. Because of the shape, look. It's commonly called a zigzag plant or devil's backbone plant. Yes, that's it. You may say, oh, is it common to have this color? Not really. Commonly, it is a green to a bit light yellow leaves. Look at this guy here. That is one of them. That's the common color. But because this guy, it has a really good sunlight in the greenhouse when I bought it. The color wouldn't stay long if the sun is not really good. I will show you this plant. The zigzag plant or the devil's back plant is originally from the tropical or subtropical of Central and North America. It would survive in the June 9, which means when the temperature goes down to 20 Fahrenheit or 6, minus 6 degrees centigrade. You need to move them indoor, otherwise they will get frost or frozen and they die. When we grow them indoor, they don't grow really tall. But in the wild, without restriction, they grow up to 6 to 8 feet. And normally it grow like 1 feet to 2 feet wide. It belongs to the euphobia family, so as the majority of the euphobia is toxic, when you work with them, wear gloves. Actually, the rubber or the plastic one, when you work with euphobia, is highly recommended. But today, I'm not cutting any of them. So I just wear the cotton one. It works too. Uh, the euphobia family, when you have a cut, they have the milk sap. When you touch the milk sap, your skin will have reaction, itchy, or any other uncomfortable symptoms. If you touch your eyes with the sap, on your hands, you will have really horrible eye reaction. Seriously, it would cause blind. So be careful with dealing all these plants. Wear gloves, it's safe for you. And another thing I would like to show you is, you may say, how do I propagate these? Two ways to propagate this devil's backbone plant. The first is seeds. You can collect the seeds. The flower season is mid-spring, which is around the May to June. And you can collect these seeds and get them dry and then uh, get them planted. Another way is from cutting. What you do is uh, take a seeds and cut from in between the zigzag, not at the low point. Look here, just in between, not at the north part. This is the best. Don't cut really short. It's not really heavy. Uh, leave around like uh, 3 to 5 inches, which is around 10 to 15 centimeters. Cut it, let it fully colors, and then replant it. You will get another plant. It is. Look like. Look this. It's a single root, single stem plant. Then go with different branches. Today I'd like to show you another thing is how to rip out these plants. When you buy the succulents or plants from any nursery, normally they would come up with this type of plastic pot. It's not bad, but it's not beautiful. The good thing for them is they have good holes. The draining system is really good. But uh, as plant collectors, we always want to make things perfect, beautiful. So what we do is repotting them. And uh, I like the white pots. Have a look. That's the one I normally use. The problem is uh, it's really deep and there is only a small hole at the bottom. It's not really good for the drainage. So in that case, what I will do is add some lava rocks, uh, gravels, uh, any type at the bottom so when you water the water will go to the gravels so the water will go faster then there is only a small hole and then i will just uh, take the whole plant 
out of the original pot. Sometimes, you know, it's so full. It's hard to get the plants out. You just squeeze. Keep squeezing the pot, give it a massage. Then it will separate the pot and the plant soil. It's easy to get out directly. Some people may recommend you say, oh, you need to get rid of the original soil and then uh, blah, blah. I wouldn't. What I do is my trick, is my tip. Whenever I buy these succulents from a nursery, especially when I buy a big amount, I would buy their soil, a big bag of their soil. Especially the type of uh, nurseries who grow their succulents themselves instead of wholesale succulents from another nursery. I would love to buy from this type of nursery locally. Because they use the same soil for this plant, they have a big amount of their soil. So it's the same soil. It does, so the plant would get used to the original soil and whatever the same soil you added. Now what I do is just put this into the pot. Make it the same level of the pot. You see, it look better. If it's above, it's not good looking, but if it's below, it's not really good for the plants. And then what I do is I add more gravels around the plant. It's also to compose the drainage system. The amazing part of these succulents is they don't need a lot of soil. Just to think about it. They grow in the sandy, rocky land. So the soil is not something they really need. They need a good drainage. So put rocks around. That's totally fine. Just give them the space. And now, after I put the rocks around, I would add some soil. Like I mentioned, it's the same soil from the nursery when they plant this plant with. So it's totally fine. They will get used to this new soil because it's the same with the original one. Really, really quick. And then you may say, when do I need to repot the plant? There are two regions you want to repot. The first is the plant is really big. And uh, you can tell like uh, they are struggling in a small pot. In that situation, you really need to consider to repot it. And the second region is uh, when you see this plant is not really healthy in their original pot. That means there might be some problem with the soil, such as like uh, mealybugs hide in or uh, scales hide in. And then in that situation, you need to take the soil out and go through it and see whether it's okay uh, or it's uh, too much soil without a good drainage. Uh, this would cause problem. In that situation, change the pot. And of course, there is a third region for, for the beauty of your collection like uh, what I'm doing right now. You see, where these gloves, uh, there is another good use is you can clean the pots, the table, everywhere easily, and then just get rid of them. Look, hopefully she's happy in this really good drainage soil, rocky land, and it will grow happily high and tall. Another thing, like I talked before, this is the original pot from the nursery. It doesn't look good, but the plant is really happy in this pot and it's big enough for the plants. And you see the drainage system is really good. And you say, oh, actually I don't want to repot it, but I want to make it prettier. Check my the other video. In my video, I showed you how to just coat this type of pots with some simple things in our life like a poster tape, some ropes, some small decoration things like the ones you get for Christmas, you didn't use them up or you want to reuse them. And these things are the things I use to do. See, that is the coat I make for this pot. I didn't repot this plant because it's so heavy inside and then it looks totally fine. It's not as gorgeous as this type, but it's unique, it's very special, and it's so cheap. The whole process just takes around five minutes, that's all.
Thank you for watching my video. As always, I would love to share my way of being succulents with you. Many, many different tips. For example, today the soil, the repotting, how to make coat for the pots, a lot of things and all the unique type of succulents I have or I don't have. Whatever, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you like, please share it and subscribe the channel. Bye for now.